right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Kakudash. I'm the brother Tazamaka Moth coming from the camp, Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and well. Peace and citations to the whole flood that scatter abroad. Now I have this article from Daily Mail. Dot co dot uk says now the um the heading says woke yale physician says all doctors should be forced to wear body cams so they can be punished if they are racist right and it says after claiming she stood and watched a black teen die in the er as white colleagues chuckled all right and, man, this just shows you that, you know, Esau Edom, you know, the so-called white man, hey, he has a um, perpetual hatred towards the nation of Israel, okay? They they want to see us, you know, die, kill kill each other, and, you know, and they, ch hey, guess what? When we're on our, you know, our, on hospitals, man, which is, you know, fucking, like, like, death in there. Okay, but you know, once we go into those hospitals, man, and you know, and we and we de we depending on, you know, to these doctors, you know, to save us, man. They ain't gonna save us, man. They'd rather see us die and suffer, man. All right. Now it says Dr. Amanda Calhoun made suggestions and opinion piece for the Boston Globe, and basically just goes into it, right? Now. And it says, as Carly's chuckled and said, he's just another criminal. Hey, man, what showed you that, you know, this, this, you know, by words and, 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 and you know, the, the um, stigma we have, man, they look at us as criminals, man. All right. Now it says, I have witnessed countless racist behaviors toward black patients. Often coupled with conscious and cruel statements, Calhoun, who is black, all right, which we are not black, okay? Black is a color, you know, of a crayon box. None of us are black. We're, we're different um, variations of brown, okay? And it says, Slucky, it says, Calhoun, who is who is black, right? It says, wrote in the piece, I have, I have heard white nurses joke that young black children will probably join gangs and doctors describe the natural hair of black people as wild and unkempt. Wow, bro. <laughs> wow. You know, which our hair is wooly, like sheep. Okay. Now it says, um, Well, yeah, this is the doctor, okay, um, Calhoun. This is the uh, the doctor, Doctor Amanda Calhoun, who said we should have body cams, man. All right, and guess what? These these devils think they slick. So let's go to uh, first let's go to Job, the ninth chapter. And this is what we have to, you know, deal with. This is Job 9 and uh, 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. So who, who's, run, who's running this earth? Who's ruling this earth? It's Esau. Okay. Esau Edom. Right. And it says, he covered the faces of the judge thereof. If not, where? Who is he? Who else, man? Who else could be this, this evil devil that rules this earth? No, none other but Esau. Now, let's get this. Uh, let's get this.
position of no value. Let's get that. Job 13. That's what it is. All right, this is Job 13 and 4. And it says, But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. So, you know, for, you know, this doctor to see that these, um, quote unquote, white doctors are doing this to, to the Israelites, it shows you something, man. It shows you once again that, hey, if you don't know who the devil is, you got to know by now, man, okay? You know, you got these um, young Israelite children, you know, going to these hospitals, you know, in the ER, you know, about to die, and, and they chuckling and, you know, saying, oh, they're criminals and just another criminal, he's dying, uh, you know? These are... These are physicians of no value, man. They'd rather see us suffer and, 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 and die, okay, rather than to help us, you know. But, hey, we got to know that this is the devil that we're talking about. This is the same one that has a perpetual hatred towards us, right? So let's prove that in Ezekiel 35. Let's actually go to Genesis. Let's go to Genesis. Let's prove that in Genesis first. Um, 27. Just like a bear with me real quick. I just want to get to the point. All right, so this is Genesis 27 and 40, right? And this is Esau again, his blessing from Isaac, which in the spirit, if you could tell, is Yehoshua, right? And it says, and by this war shall thou live. So Esau is a master of, you know, weapons, all right? And shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, all right, in his mind, Esau, okay, this is the same devil we're talking about, all right, Esau said in his mind, the days of mourning for my father at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. So, so Esau hated Jacob because why Jacob finesse? you know, his father Isaac, uh, you know, into that blessing, okay, and so his birthright to Jacob, but he, but if to go even deeper, you know, Cain slew his brother Abel, okay, so this all started in the beginning, man, and Esau has perpetual hatred, so let's go to Ezekiel 35, this to prove that, you know, these, these devil daughters, man, Okay, they don't want to see us win, man. They don't want to help us. They don't want to, you know, this right here, man, should tell you a lot. It says, watch black teen die in ER as white colleagues chuckle, man. These devils got to fucking pay, bro. Okay, these devils got to pay, bro. You know, you got a lot of Israelites, you know, depending on these devils and they're killing us, bro. And you don't know what they'll do. Okay, you you may get a blood blood transfusion, you know, and, and they put the wrong blood. Now you got blood clots going to your heart. You die right there, man. Okay, they tell you you got you got cancer, but guess what? They tell you get chemotherapy to to fucking kill yourself, bro, with radiation. Okay, which in the long run that shit gonna kill you anyway. All right, these are forges of no value, uh, physicians of no value, man. Forges of lies, bro. This is why this devil got took got to get taken out of his rulership. Okay. Oh, so right here, let's get Ezekiel thirty-five and five. It says, "Because thou has had a perpetual hatred, perpetual going to everlasting." Okay, these devils have a perpetual hatred even till now. Okay, you go out there and you go into uh 
what's that place, man? I believe Arkansas or some town in Arkansas where there's Jake. Where there's Jake. He went to the most racist town. He, he said, hey, nigga, get the fuck out of this city. You know, you can't be past certain times. You know, that sundown law. Hey, they, they catch an Israelite, man. They slaying his ass, man. So these devils still have perpetual hatred even till now. And for this, you know, the uh, Jake woman to see that, you know, these Edomites are doing this to our, our fellow brothers and sisters. And, and calling us and say, uh, you know, uh, criminals and, you know, just another criminal and, and chuckling and laughing, saying we join gangs and stuff, and saying describing our natural hair as wild and unkempt. Hey, guess what, man? Guess what? Th this is this is us, man. We're the holy children. Okay. But it says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of thy children of Israel by the force of their sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. So if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee, man. Okay? So, hey, the Lord's going to come back to avenge us, man. Uh, what's this one scripture? It just popped in my head, man. Lord willing to come back. Uh, it's a one scripture. I believe I said. Let's go to Isaiah 14. I have another scripture popped in my head. Lord willing to come back, though. So this guy's, let's get Isaiah 14 and 21. Alright, because the reason why they're laughing and chuckling Hey, because, hey, the Lord don't forget. Oh, that's the scripture. So let's actually hold off on Isaiah 14. Let's get uh, Zephaniah. Okay. Or Zechariah. Let's get Zechariah 2 and 8. Okay. Now it says, For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, After the glory hath he has sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. Okay. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. So, guess what? The Lord seeth all. So, let me get this scripture. Right here. Um. Let's get uh, the book of Sirach. Uh, let's go to 16 and 11. Okay, let's get the book of Sirach, chapter 23. Sirach 23 and 19, right? Now it says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, because the Lord's eyes. You know, hey, are the angels. They go to and fro in the earth seeing all these things. Especially what these devils are doing. Hey, they doing they think they doing this in secret. Thing that nobody can see them. Hey, but guess what? Hey, the spirit got them got them revealed, man. Okay, that this Israelite woman you know, is wit is witnessing all the racist behaviors that these Edomites have towards Israelite children, Israelite Israelite men and women. Okay. Hey, hey, guess what? They still call us niggers and criminals and all these, you know, bywords and proverbs, okay, which is part of the curses. But it just shows you that this devil never never liked us, man. We we don't we don't cooperate together. We don't go hand in hand with each other, man. And guess what? He touched he touched the apple of the Lord's eye. We are precious in the sight of the Lord. And guess what? The Lord's gonna avenge us. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go to uh, let's go to uh, Isaiah fourteen. Let's go to Isaiah fourteen. Okay, let's get Isaiah fourteen and twenty one. Right, it says prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. Okay, so you know the spirit's coming back, reincarnation over and over and over, man. It says prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. 
these same fucking wicked ass Edomites, all right, they coming back. The same ones that were back, you know, in in, in the fifties or forties, and you know, and time and time again. You want to know why they they feel that way? It's because that's the same feeling they had back in the day, man. Since the you know, since the beginning of Esau and Jacob, from Cain and Abel, man, that spirit, you know. It's happening over and over again, okay? But guess what? Their time is coming to a close. It says that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities, okay? It says, for I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh Post, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh. Now, why is the Lord only cutting off the, uh, you know, the son and the nephew? Because the men hold the seed. If you destroy all the men, they will never repopulate again. So the Lord is wiping out the lineage of Esau. Okay? Hey, guess what? We're going to prepare slaughter for these fucking devils, man. Alright? They didn't show us no mercy, man. We ain't going to show their ass no mercy. So let's go to uh, the book of James, chapter 2, 13. Right? It says... For he shall have judgment without mercy. Have these devils showed us any mercy at any time, man? No. It says that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. All right? These devils going to pay for everything they've done to the nation of Israel, man. Okay, look at Emmett Till. Look, look at these different accounts of what they've done. You think they're just going to slide by with that? No. They're going to have to pay for that. All right, let's get uh, Sirach chapter 12, and let's get verse 10, right? Now, it says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, okay? Never trust your enemy, man, okay? It says, it says, the woke Yale University physician said daughters should be forced to wear body cameras to catch racist daughters as she claims to have seen a black teen die in the ER and his colleagues chuckled and said he's just another criminal, man. Never trust your enemy, man. Okay? Now it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be, be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Okay? Yeah, even though they may be doctors, they may seem like they're going to help you. Hey, guess what? They're still fucking wicked, man. In their heart, in their mind. Alright? It's in their spirit the, to hate Israelites, man. Alright? It says, set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Okay? This is the devil we talk about, man. This devil will never help us at any given time, any given moment, man. That's why when Isaiah 10 and 20 comes to pass, you know, we don't have to stay upon the devil that smote us. It's going to be a, a good time to be fucking alive, man. We can trust in you. How about you, Mount Shai? Not depend on these devils because these devils just want to murder us and kill us and see us suffer. Okay? Having us go to the ba back to the doctor to take this fucking poison, man. Alright? These devils never helped us, man. At any given time, any given moment, man. You think the Lord going to forget that? You think the Lord going to let that shit slide? Why, why should we let that shit slide, man? Okay? Uh, let me see. Let me grab this. Let's get this. Uh, Sirach 27, right? Let's get Sirach 27 and 24. It says, I have hated many things, but nothing like him. 
for the Lord will hate him. Okay. And the Lord loved Jacob and hated Esau. And the Lord said he hate many things, but nothing like Esau, man. So these, these devils, you think they, they in the high and their pride, man. But guess what? It's all going to come to an end. Okay. It's all going, it's all going to be coming to an end. All right, now let's read a little bit. It says, as a patient, I will feel for, far more comfortable if they did. And as a daughter, I will volunteer to wear one first. In an article, Dr. Calhoun wrote, she has heard white nurses joke that young black children will probably join gangs and daughters describe the natural hair of black people as wild and unkempt. I've seen black patients unnecessarily physically restrained, she continued. I have stood in the emergency department as a black teenager died from a gunshot wound while white staff chuckled saying he was just another criminal calhoun also wrote about the poor treatment by white nurses of her sister who was suffering from an allergic reaction despite my mom's instance that my nine-year-old sister could be suffering from a deadly allergic reaction and seemed to be wheezing white nurses refused to treat her with urgency leaving them sitting in the waiting room she wrote without even properly examining my sister the nurses informed my mother she would have detected a nut allergy earlier in my sister's life if it was serious. It says Calhoun pointed out how body cams could help in situations with the actions and behaviors of police in real time and that they can be accessed during police violence investigations. Oh man. E, e what the devil, boy. <laughs> Wow, he with the devil, man. But you know, you pretty much get the point, man. Okay, these crackers never loved us, man. They want to see us gone. But guess what? The Lord's gonna avenge us. So with that, Lord willing, let's be edifying when we give our honor, glory, and praise to you. How about Shemuel? Shai about Shemuel? Happy Dash. Tonight, I'm gonna say Shalom.